afternoon everyone just being brave and standing in front of the camera um, doing a very short 10 minute demo for you on white flowers and the petals um, it'll be live time so rather than me speeding it up this time you might actually just be able to see what I'm doing that's it really gonna put the center in hope you're all well sorry about the luminous green yellow t-shirt uh, <laughs> I'm doing a hashtag run rainbow every day thing so today's yellow anyway uh, I'll crack on with the painting um, and hopefully see you soon bye right we're going to look at painting whites today normally quite often we would put the background in and that would allow the white to obviously do its job much easier with the white of the paper. These are going to be the three brushes I'm going to use. You see my nice Chinesey one, number five, and my number one for a little bit more detail at the end. The colours I'm using, I've tried out down the bottom. So I've used cadmium lemon or maybe uh, lemon yellow if you haven't got that sap green scarlet for the center for the whites i'm making up a mixture of magenta cobalt and lemon yellow to make my different grays from so what we're looking for when we're painting the whites obviously leaving the white of the paper as much as we can but there are lots of really nice colors if you really look closely in white that's reflected from the surrounding colours, from the way the light hits, where petals overlap. You can see here where it's translucent, but the petals behind, it picks up a really nice shadow. OK, so I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm going to mix up some greys. We're going to start with... Let's start over here and we'll pick up some of these greys and shadows down here for you. Mix the colour up and it's very, very watery. We don't want anything too opaque or heavy. Can darken easier than you can the other way around. Okay. It's a very, very pale wash to start with. This gives a little bit of shape to the petals. Slightly darken up this one. Mm. Yeah, to soften it, clean your brush, wet water, dry it off. So this is just damp now, no colour on it and you can soften through and 
and fade it into the white paper. I'm going to do the same behind this one. So we're going to run that in behind. Again, clean and dry my brush. So the edge is still damp. You can pull it out towards the edge and soften it off. A little bit through here. So you can see pink's reflected. Little bits are a little bit bluer, so you can make your mix more blue as opposed to more pink. And adding a little bit of yellow just greys it out a little bit. Soften this line, this edge. Now in here, there's a really nice shadow. And it's got some really nice blues, purples. Probably getting a little bit yellower, closer to the middle. So I'm going to start first of all with the softer ones. And then I'm going to put this shadow in over the top. So I'm going to have a little bit of pink, cobalt, tiny bit of yellow, working again in the direction that you can see and it helps to give a little bit more shape just going to soften out some of these edges This edge here. So you can see my washes are really, really watery. Okay. Get a little bit long here. What a nice shadow here. And soften it out. Let's add a little bit more blue into that. slightly darken that off and the same down here I'm going to put a little bit more blue in this bit okay let's run this bigger shadow through Bluer, much bluer at the top. So I'm going to start at this edge. I'm going to run it around. So 
while it's still wet. I'll put in a little bit more pink. And then getting a little bit closer to the petal, it's just a little bit more yellow that I'm going to add in. All the time it's wet, you can take from that last wet edge and keep moving it around and you won't get a hard edge. Okay, here we are. We'll let that dry. Let's work onto this one here quickly. Just a little bit there. To lift up this edge here away from that petal I'm going to slightly darken up this top edge And then again, just soften that, that lining. And soften these out a little bit. I'm going to come back up to this petal over here and you can see where this back petal is just shining through this front one a little bit. So let's put that in. I'm going to start with putting in some of this yellow, this little bit of yellow behind the centre. So I'm going to drop that in first. Darkening it up here and there. Right. Take it from this. Well, it's still a little bit wet, so it runs in and is a bit softer. Up here. I'll just take it up to this edge. That's it. And then we'll put this one in. Taking it from the yellow that I just put in. Again, working in the direction of the petal. Okay. 
and pulling the paint out as you go. You can see how it just gives you a little bit of form to the petal. Again, very, very watered down. I'm just going to soften out these edges so they disappear literally to nothing. A little bit of a dark knot behind there. I'm going to swap and use my Chinesey brush actually for this petal because it's quite large. I'll just show you the bigger the brush, the more water it holds. So, the larger the area you can cover without making it streaky, which sometimes is beneficial. Right. Run that one through. Let's bring these out again. Again, just lose them as they come down towards the bottom of the petal. And come back to my number five. And again, soften out the edge. And slightly darken up in here a little bit. Add a little bit more. And then soften it out. Right, there's a little shadow there. Let's put that little shadow in as well.
so that's the 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 main washes that I would put on to do the white I would come back maybe and darken a few up and maybe with my fine brush pick out a few little bits I'll show you just up here where this petal up the top curves So, we pick up this little bit here, I'm just going to slightly outline it, and slightly darken, and sharpen it up. Okay, just so you get the feel of that petal curling. Same on here, I'm going to slightly sharpen the edge on this one too. With the same mix, just slightly, slightly stronger and darker, not a lot. Okay, we do the same on this petal over here. Again, just picking out this edge. You can just again see how that just picks out that petal a little bit better. And I'm just going to soften that in. Over here, the same. And again, on this edge, I can pick out this edge a little bit more as well. This one's already quite sharp, but we can just, again, just slightly play with it. And this one here. Right, let's pop this shadow in slightly more strongly across the top now that those have hopefully dried a little bit. So let's start with a little bit more yellow, I think, in the centre. I think what we'll do is Add a little bit more magenta. Okay. 
in taking that edge you're fine to work with it as long as it's wet and you can keep moving it around I'm going to add a little bit more blue to it now Okay. keep moving this edge Add a little bit more blue to it and then we can drop it in and pull our shadow across okay. So notice I'm not fiddling with it, I'm not going to go back into it or try and do anything. Once you've pulled it across, leave it. If you want to do anything else to it, wait for it to dry, then go back in. Otherwise you're going to end up with all sorts of lovely cockley marks and things you don't really want. Slightly darker up there. Darker up there. Right, so that's the bulk of it. I'm going to carry on fiddling with it and I'll show you the end results later. Um, but I will pause it here. <laughs> 